Have you ever heard someone say they need a root canal and felt a shiver of dread? It's a common reaction, but understanding the process can help alleviate some of that fear. Endodontics, the branch of dentistry specializing in root canal treatment, often evokes anxiety. However, it's a crucial field dedicated to saving teeth and maintaining oral health. But what is it, really? Simply put, endodontics focuses on the innermost part of your tooth, the pulp. This area is essential for the tooth's vitality and health. This soft tissue contains nerves, blood vessels, and connective tissue, playing a vital role in tooth development. It's the lifeline of your tooth, providing necessary nutrients and sensory function. When this pulp becomes infected or inflamed, often due to deep decay or injury, endodontic treatment becomes necessary. Without treatment, the infection can spread, leading to abscesses and severe pain. Think of it as a rescue mission for your tooth. The goal is to remove the infected pulp, clean the root canal, and seal it to prevent further infection. Endodontists are highly trained specialists, equipped with advanced technology to save teeth that would otherwise require extraction. They use state-of-the-art tools and techniques to ensure the best possible outcome for their patients. So the next time you hear about a root canal, remember that it's a sophisticated procedure designed to save your natural tooth and relieve pain. Endodontics is not something to fear, but rather a testament to the advancements in dental care. Imagine a patient, let's call her Sarah, walks into the dental office with a throbbing toothache. She has been dealing with this pain for a few days now, and it's starting to affect her daily life. The discomfort is so intense that she can barely concentrate at work or enjoy her meals. She describes a sharp pain when biting down, which makes it difficult for her to eat her favorite foods. Every bite feels like a jolt of electricity shooting through her tooth. Additionally, she experiences sensitivity to hot and cold temperatures that lingers long after the source is gone. Whether it's a sip of hot coffee in the morning or a cold drink in the afternoon, the pain persists, making her dread every meal and drink. These symptoms, along with possible swelling or tenderness in the gums, often indicate a problem within the tooth's pulp. The pulp is the innermost part of the tooth, containing nerves and blood vessels, and when it becomes inflamed or infected, it can cause significant pain and discomfort. During the consultation, the dentist carefully listens to Sarah's concerns and conducts a thorough examination. They ask her detailed questions about her pain, its duration, and any other symptoms she might be experiencing. Using a small instrument, they gently tap on the affected tooth and surrounding areas to assess pain levels. This helps the dentist determine the exact location and severity of the problem. X-rays provide a clear picture of the tooth's internal structure, revealing any signs of infection or damage. The dentist carefully reviews the X-rays, looking for any abnormalities that could explain Sarah's pain. Based on the findings, the dentist explains to Sarah that the pulp inside her tooth is inflamed. They show her the X-rays and point out the areas of concern, helping her understand the source of her pain. A root canal treatment is recommended to alleviate her pain and save her tooth. The dentist explains the procedure in detail, reassuring Sarah that it is a common and effective treatment. They discuss the steps involved, the expected recovery time, and the benefits of preserving her natural tooth. Sarah feels relieved knowing that there is a solution to her problem and that she is in good hands. Before the actual root canal procedure begins, the dental team takes several steps to prepare. First and foremost, ensuring patient comfort is paramount. Local anesthesia is administered to numb the area around the affected tooth, ensuring a pain-free experience. Next, a small sheet of rubber called a dental dam is carefully placed around the tooth. This acts as a barrier, isolating the tooth and keeping it clean and dry throughout the procedure. This controlled environment is crucial for successful treatment. Finally, specialized instruments are meticulously laid out, each playing a specific role in the delicate procedure ahead. With the patient comfortable and the tooth isolated, the endodontist creates a small opening in the crown of the tooth using a dental drill. This opening provides access to the pulp chamber, the central chamber within the tooth where the pulp tissue resides. The dentist uses tiny, precise instruments to carefully remove any decayed or damaged tooth structure within the pulp chamber. This step is crucial to eliminate bacteria and infected tissue before proceeding to the root canals. The endodontist may use magnification and illumination, such as a dental microscope or loops, to enhance their view and ensure meticulous cleaning. Section 5. The Art of Shaping and Cleaning Creating a Pristine Canal Space Now comes the heart of the root canal treatment, cleaning and shaping the root canals. This is a meticulous and crucial step in ensuring the long-term health of the tooth. These narrow, intricate passageways extend from the pulp chamber down to the tip of the tooth's root. They are often complex and can vary greatly in shape and size, making the cleaning process quite challenging. Using tiny, flexible files, 
the endodontist carefully navigates the canals, removing any remaining infected pulp tissue, bacteria, and debris. This requires a high level of skill and precision, as the files must be maneuvered through the twists and turns of the canals without causing damage. This process is often described as similar to cleaning a narrow, curved pipe. Just as a plumber must carefully clean out a pipe to ensure water flows smoothly, the endodontist must ensure the canals are thoroughly cleaned to prevent future infection. Throughout the cleaning process, the canals are continuously irrigated with an antimicrobial solution. This solution not only helps to flush out debris, but also plays a crucial role in disinfecting the canals. This solution helps to flush out debris and disinfect the canals, ensuring a thorough cleaning. The combination of mechanical cleaning with files and chemical disinfection with the solution is essential for creating a pristine canal space, ready for the next steps in the root canal treatment. Section 6. Sealing the deal. Ensuring a bacteria-free environment. Once the canals are thoroughly cleaned and shaped, it's time to seal them off, preventing future bacterial contamination. This step is crucial for long-term success of the treatment. The endodontist uses a biocompatible material called gutta percha, a rubber-like material, to fill and seal the canals. Gutta percha is heated and then carefully compressed into the canals, creating a tight seal that prevents bacteria from re-entering. An adhesive cement is used alongside the gutta percha to ensure a complete and lasting seal. This meticulous sealing process is vital for protecting the tooth from future infections. Section 7. Restoring your smile. The final touches. With the canals cleaned, shaped, and sealed, the endodontic treatment is nearly complete. The final step involves restoring the tooth's structure and function. In most cases, a dental crown is recommended to protect the treated tooth. The crown acts like a protective cap, covering and strengthening the tooth, preventing it from fracturing under pressure. If the tooth has significant damage, a post may be placed into the root canal space to provide additional support for the crown. The crown is custom made to match the shape and color of your natural teeth, ensuring a seamless and aesthetically pleasing result. Section 8. Navigating the road to recovery post-treatment care. After the root canal treatment, it's normal to experience some mild discomfort or sensitivity for a few days. Over-the-counter pain relievers, such as ibuprofen or acetaminophen, are usually sufficient to manage any discomfort. It's important to avoid chewing on the treated tooth until the crown is placed to prevent damage or discomfort. Maintaining good oral hygiene practices, such as brushing and flossing regularly, is crucial for long-term success. Rinsing with warm salt water can also help to soothe the gums and promote healing. Following the dentist's post-treatment instructions carefully will help ensure a smooth and comfortable recovery. Section 9. The importance of follow-up, your partner in oral health. Regular dental checkups and cleanings are essential for maintaining good oral health, especially after a root canal treatment. During these follow-up visits, the dentist will examine the treated tooth, ensuring it's healing properly and the restoration remains intact. X-rays may be taken periodically to monitor the tooth's long-term health. By following your dentist's recommendations and attending follow-up appointments, you play an active role in preserving your oral health and ensuring the longevity of your treated tooth. Section 10. Embracing Modern Endodontics. A recap. Root canal treatment, once a dreaded procedure, has evolved significantly thanks to advancements in endodontics. With modern techniques, specialized instruments, and a focus on patient comfort, root canals are now routine procedures with high success rates. If you're experiencing tooth pain or have been told you need a root canal, don't despair. By addressing the problem promptly and seeking treatment from a qualified endodontist, you can save your natural tooth, alleviate pain, and restore your smile's health and brilliance.